interestingly, across our field, there's a very strong movement toward function. And in fact, most people aren't satisfied with just function. If they can restore function over no function, that's acceptable and desirable. But what most people want is to return to their highest form of function. So the therapeutic intensity, the nature of the therapies, how the therapies are designed, how they're implemented, the uh, dedication and passion of this staff uh, toward a single purpose, which is maximizing their interventions to reduce the disability, all come together to uh, uh, affect that kind of change for each individual. And so we focus on translational research. We're looking at what's going on in the, uh, in the bench neurosciences uh, to inform new therapies, to inform new approaches, and to uh, uh, attempt to mitigate the initiation and progression of disease processes uh, following brain injury. So our staff is looking not only at reduction of disability, but in mitigating the disease progression that can be found uh, and is increasingly being understood to uh, occur with uh, acquired brain injury. Our staff collects more data points uh, per patient per day than any other treating institution. Uh, just in the residential setting alone, uh, where the neurorehabilitation specialists focus on reimplementing activities of daily living. There are over 300 data points taken per week on a patient, on every patient. Some patients may have many more than that, depending upon their clinical presentation and the problems that they have. That doesn't include all the data points that are taken in physical therapy and occupational therapy and speech pathology and cognitive rehabilitation and vocational rehabilitation, in clinical psychology, in counseling, in our rehabilitation nursing and so on. Uh, this is an exceptionally data-driven process and we do so because we need to study what's working, we need to study what hasn't worked, we need to know where to go next if one approach doesn't work, what approach might work uh, as a follow-on to it uh, before we say we've done everything that we know how to do. Today, over 30 years later, we now understand the incredible importance of neurologic rehab, of environmental demand, and how these things impact what we now understand to be neuroplasticity and cortical reorganization. So the activities that we engage in therapeutically are designed to assist in the creation of new neurologic structures and the reorganization of existing structural function so that the person can reacquire the skills that they've lost due to the injury. Mm -hmm.